Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 1st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and a look at world weather. And we're starting out here looking at our sun. 304 angstroms, still pretty quiet. A couple bright regions firing up their equatorial region and a small CME there. And that was in an earth-facing position, a little plasma filament eruption, looking at the last 48 hours incoming. On the left-hand side, you can see a pretty sizable bright region moving in. Lots of activity swirling around there. Plasma filament taking off there, connected to the one that shot at an earth-facing position. Looking at outgoing here, active regions have turned away now. But a couple small areas there forming on the center disk. Looking at multi-spectrum at all of the events the past 48 hours. Here's your active cresting region. Plasma filament on the top left side and the top right. And as well, observing this snaky little filament from the southeast region of our sun. And just after that CME blasted off, plasma filament eruption, you can see this thing snake even further, getting ready to snap back into our planet, into the sun. Looking at 193 angstroms here, there are no Earth-facing coronal holes to talk about, and we are officially out of the coronal hole stream in which we've been affected by for the past 24 to 36 hours, if not longer. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range after firing off a couple high B range flares overnight, but nothing serious. Solar proton flux there. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Having a look here at LASCO 3 the last 48 hours. Not much has changed. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 400 kilometers per second. And that is down from the 560 kilometers per second we were being pounded by. So definitely out of the coronal hole wind stream and on to more space weather on its way. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing that plasma filament eruption taking off towards Mercury, giving Earth a glancing blow. We are that little yellow circle. That is our planet. So June 6th into 8th, watch for that to move in. Schumann resonance for today, a healthy and strong power of 67 Highly energized today on this graph for sure. So yeah, power of amplitude of 67, quality of 12, power of 43. Having a look at earthquakes past 24 hours, we're going to start out North American plate as it's been pretty busy today, especially Texas and Mexico border. White City, New Mexico reporting a 4.6 today. As well, Mexico border there, 4.2 in the Gulf of California. 4.6 White City and a 4.3 here, Toya, Texas. And the swarm continues, sitting up just about 210 earthquakes across the USGS map. 3.8 to report there, Thompson Springs, Utah. 3.2 here, the geysers, that's pretty sizable. I haven't seen a, one that size for about a week. 4.2 there to Gulf of California and Mandorito. Desert Hawk Springs as well, 2.5. Ridgecrest, 3.1. So activity is increasing from the 160 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Now we're sitting at 210, so things are starting to pick up. Quiet across Alaska today, not too much to report. Activity through Japan, 4.5 here, 94 kilometer depth as well, 4.4 Izu Islands, Japan region, South Japan, 4.5 there, north of Taiwan as well, largest earthquake to report today, a 5.9 in Lingkong, China, as well a 5.2 in Myanmar, so very shaky day across southeast China, down into the Indian Plate. 4.6 here reported today in Kash, Iran, as well as 4.3 in Turkey at a 3-kilometer depth. 
Nothing across the African plate. Get to South America. Four earthquakes reported there today, 4.0 and greater. From Oval, Chile to Bolivia, Atoka. Bolivia, pretty deep earthquake there as well, 4.2 in Tarapaca, Chile. Caribbean plate, Dominican Republic seeing minor activity continue as well, 4.9 there in Nicaragua. And that's the last 24 hours, but this is a very quiet region today, only reporting a 5.1 Papua New Guinea, and here's our deepest earthquake today, 395 kilometer depth, band of sea, and way too quiet here in Fiji. No deep earthquakes to talk about the past 24 hours. Having a quick look here at the last seven days across the planet. Stay safe, aware, and prepared, everybody. Just have a plan. That's what this is all about. Daily do, daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. So have a plan and be ready for anything these days, especially earthquakes and extreme weather. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Manam in Papua New Guinea, Dokono in Indonesia, Etna in Italy, Sabincaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Ibu in Indonesia, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador. That's all in the past 21 hours. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 52 that are active and erupting. If you haven't seen the update video, please check it out. Now looking across the world, satellite imagery, you're going to notice something here. Some very large low pressure systems across the northern hemisphere right now. Two systems in the Pacific that are pretty much stretching across the Pacific Ocean half the size of the ocean as well a very large one over north america and a large one over the atlantic so there's five and looking at google earth right now showing these five low pressure centers very large at that and packing a lot of moisture and i've been talking recently about our broken down jet stream and how things have shifted across the Northern Hemisphere. And I do believe that has a lot to do with our wandering North Pole. As over the past three to four years, it has moved dramatically towards Russia. We're seeing our South Atlantic anomaly move in as well. So are we close to this magnetic reversal? Are we close to something big happening to our planet? It kind of seems that way when we look at these large systems forming across our world. I've never seen them this big in my five years reporting here on YouTube and as well in my 15 years, 15 to 20 years watching weather data. So this is a big deal. Y'all seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow. That was a computer simulated generation, <clears throat> a graphic design. And that was based on all of the data put in from our world. And in this animation, it created one monstrous killer system across the Northern Hemisphere. Is that happening today? I cannot, spe I can only speculate. I do not know for sure. But it really seems that our Northern Hemisphere has changed dramatically. Our North Pole has moved 45 kilometers closer to Russia over the past four to five years. Something is up. I'm going to show you here as well on Null School, showing these large low pressure centers. And we're going to look at compared to last year at this time. But there's one, two, three, four, five major systems. One of them is going to be turning into a winter storm for Manitoba. So where's our new North Pole? Let's have a look at what the systems were like a year ago. Let's go back to 2021. 
nothing like what it is today. And look at the jet stream. We've got west to east, straight across North America. But then it curls up into the Atlantic and all around Greenland. Now our systems are halfway through in North America. They're heading straight up into the Hudson Bay. So something is off big time. And it has a lot to do with our new North Pole. And it has a lot to do with the grand solar minimum, solar cycles, and how it affects our magnetic field. That's why Morning Dew started, to share all this information with you. And it grew to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Let's have a look at upper level winds, northern hemisphere versus the southern. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is our southern polar vortex right now. And have a quick look at where our geographical north and south pole are and compared to where this vortex is spinning around. Tucking being pulled towards the Atlantic, the South Atlantic, and there is our South Atlantic anomaly. I really hope you enjoy all the information I share with you daily. I know today didn't have the five-day forecast, but for more detailed forecast, please check out the most recent Daily Do that was uploaded a couple days ago. This is a big video, a lot of big changes coming to our planet, and our governments know it. Hence, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. 17 Steps to Sustainable Development for 8 Billion People and 100 in 98 countries worldwide. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.